inside word. Can I just add on to this tipping, right? There's a tipping challenge. 2020 tipping challenge. What? Oh, yeah. Did you what? hear about that? It's yes. no. There's this um, rich people that were tipping um, $2,020. $2,020, yeah. As a tip. And they'd like... At a 2020 restaurant. tip tipping challenge, and then someone oh. uh, upped it and made it five thousand or something. Well, that's just random. No, I'd like, get a job just for the day, the get the tip, and then quit. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> You'd be like, "This is my wages for the whole like next six months. I'm off." <laughs> month, month and a bit. Five thousand dollars for for someone that works in a, as a waitress in America. That's a month and a bit, maybe that's even more. two months. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, but they need the, they need it the way they're the, yeah. the way their service industry set up in America. Did you see yeah. someone put someone put the check out? Um, I think it was on Twitter. They put like a picture of their check and showing they worked seventy hours, um, and got paid. It was seventy hours over two weeks, and their check was eleven dollars. What? What do you mean? No, because of yeah, because no. of um. The minimum wage for service industry is like two dollars something. Oh my gosh! Um, and then after tax and stuff like that, they ended up with like eleven bucks. And but it did show on their, their thing the tips as well, and they got like seven hundred and fifty from tips. But it's just wild that That's they've crazy. set up the system in such a way that the patrons of wherever you're going to eat or drink are responsible it's just, it's, it's, for the it's, life of the yeah. people who are serving it's you, just, not the employer. It's yeah. beyond me. That is just... I, I don't know how they've got away me. with that. The fact that it's there's a minimum wage for servers. There's $2. Like, that's unbelievable. Like, that's politicians laughing in the face of yeah, their that's crazy. constituents. That's, like, that's, that's crazy. stressful every day that you go to work. Because it's literally like you have to perform be like amazing just to or just even if you're like oh i'm, I'm just really hoping people so, do tonight oh my god oh. so like so on the other other spectrum right so the people in in australia in the service industry they probably don't think they get paid a lot but they get paid paid pretty well compared to other service people around the world but they don't get tips yeah. right so they they literally are working for a wage right yes. But I don't think the service is great over here in Australia. Pro- yeah, it wouldn't be. C- well, if no, nah. because like if you're not having to fight for your wage, yeah. And I don't like people fighting for the wage, and I think they should get paid like appropriately. But then, should you sh- like where's that balance? Do you reduce the wage and then go? You get tips on top, so like you're still got that hunger to give good service, or. Do you know what I mean? Like in America, we're saying that the hourly rate's horrible, but the service is unreal. Yeah. But I don't think, yeah, as long as they're getting the job done and they're not absolute <laughs> douches, then it's fine. Like, well, I'm not expecting everyone to be like, because sometimes it's annoying when they're constantly approaching. They're like, are you okay? Is your food okay? And you're like, yeah, I just said that to the other person. Would like, you rather that or people ago? ignoring you? Just let me eat. Yeah, but would they like? How if they if go? If I need something, how if you're like? You. How about if you're like clicking your fingers and, and waving? And they're ignoring them. That and would they're suck. ignoring you. But that doesn't happen, doesn't it? No. Wow. To be um, honest, if you were clicking this... your fingers at me, I'll probably ignore you. <laughs> 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 on this topic, yo, yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> you get on the table and start doing. Um, a friend of mine, she was telling me last week she works a lot with disabilities. Um, she has a disabled child. Um. And I'm just, I was only laughing because of your face then. Um, she was telling me last week that yeah. for employers that um, employ disabled people with disabilities, yeah. they, they don't have to pay the minimum wage. So even Macca's everything, although I think Macca's might pay extra. Mm-hmm. Um, now, um, every new per, every mum that gives birth in a hospital is getting a $300 care package as yeah. a, like a thank you gift. Never happened with us. Anyway, the people that are um, packing those are disabled people and they're getting something like a 50 cents per, per one or something like that. It's oh. something crazy. Or they could work a full day and just get paid 10 bucks. Whereas Boy. the person next to them is getting paid like yeah, yeah, the yeah, proper. Yeah. You're saying disabled people don't have a minimum wage in Australia? Yeah. Is this real? Yeah. 
Oh wow! Are you, yeah, that's it's, they, they wild. don't have they don't have to pay the minimum wage. They have to pay a portion of it only. Oh, and then what? The government foots the bill? No. Yeah, basically, because they're saying we we're only hiring you because we're we're supposed to, like, and and you're not. And wait, what? <laughs> that's horrible. Yeah, so, so, what they, so horrible mentality. What they get them to do is come and test for the job. Yeah. And they time them to see how long it's going to take them to do this one set activity. Yeah. And then they get an able-bodied person or you know someone yeah, yeah, else yeah, yeah. to do the same activity and time them, and then yeah. they'll pay them how however long it took them extra. Oh, that's how the much they'll deduct. Oh man. They'll be like productivity wise, you're only going to give us this, so we're only going to pay you this. Isn't that crazy? Business, yeah. Like it's funny. Like business is business. You hear, you always hear people say that. It's like it's nothing to do with our friendship. Business is business. I, yeah. I'm, mm. I'm pretty sure that yeah. there's some. But you can, st- you can not, you can stop still being a dick. Like, hmm. yeah. Eh. I'm pretty sure there's some corporations that would, would pay. Like, I, I think McDonald's, they're pretty good with it, whatever. Mm. But there's heaps of others that aren't at all. This sounds like I don't know the full, full it facts, by the way, on that. But it was along those lines. Yeah, as I say, this sounds like, and I'm not suggesting you don't know what you're talking about, but this is so wild. It sounds it like is. you've made that up. No, but I haven't. So this lady <laughs> no, no, worked, I'm not, I'm not for the you are. National just... Disability Insurance Scheme. Nova? She has she work for Nova? a child with Down syndrome. She's like That's has her own Facebook mad. page with thousands and thousands this of is, women on it. If this is true, my mind is blown. My mind was blown last week. My, ma- my mind is more keep outraged. Keep talking, than and I'll just have a quick look. My mind is probably more outraged than blown. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I mean, it's like you said, business is the idea of business is business. Like people not understanding that when you employ someone, you're not just you're not paying for someone to do a job. You're paying for someone's livelihood. Yeah, yeah. But like, I don't think that people put those connect those two dots. Yeah. Um, and it's it's it yeah, is honestly absurd. Is correct. Like that's where like workers' rights. I don't think. I think there needs to be more done in the face of that kind of stuff. Like it shouldn't, the idea of not being able to, it, it, this kind of goes back to my whole thing of just the way economy and society is set up in general. Like why do we have homeless people? Why why can't employers pay livable wages? Like these are just basic things mm. that should just be done. Like I don't, why is there mm. even a discussion about it? How can you have a situation where disabled people get paid less money? How can you have a situation where servers get paid $2 an hour? Like yeah, that's crazy. So Two dollars an hour—that's crazy. Some, pe- uh, uh, some dis- people with disabilities are paid as little as nine percent of the minimum wage, or ninety-nine cents an hour. What? Yeah. What was that again? Say that again. Nine percent of the minimum wage. Some people are paid are paid as little as nine percent of the minimum wage, Man, or ninety-nine cents an hour, which is about eight dollars a day, forty dollars a week. As if, as if disabled people for- don't have already inherently more costs. Is um depend- are they- depending on their disability. Do they have a disability pension as well? Would they get that uh would they get a pension as I well? I don't think or- if they're under eighteen, like maybe the the parent would probably have a be able to apply for the pension. Yeah. Or as a, or, and and care I'm just, allowance inter- and I'm stuff just like interested that. to see how these um how these people live if they're only getting eight dollars a day. If they were above eighteen, they probably would have access to something like that. This is crazy. Crazy, right? Yeah. And do you know what was? Uh, I may have mentioned this before on the podcast. What's interesting as well about the disabled people in the workplace is typically companies spend less money on health and safety or need to spend less money on health and safety for disabled people like the, the cost per person is less for a disabled person because they're inherently more aware of health and safety of their own health and safety so they yeah. get involved in less accidents hmm. so they're actually in that sense more beneficial for companies <laughs> yeah that's yeah in that respect yeah obviously from a productivity standpoint it depends some people but, yeah may be eligible for a supported wage system where employees with a disability and who have a reduced work capacity can get supported wage, but they have to have like, yeah, there's like a pay calculator to figure out how much you'd get. But I don't know if that applies to everyone. This is why people say have no loyalty to your company. (laughs) Like not in terms of work. And that supported wage is usually less than $90 a week anyway. Mm. 
Yeah, craziness, saying, like, um, guys. I saw someone tweet yesterday, like, I'm, I, I'm a HR manager. This is my, my career. I've been doing it for years. This is my notice to you guys. If you're going to leave, do not give a two-week notice. Your company won't why? give you a two-week notice if they're going to fire you. So why should yes, you give them a two-week notice? No, well, maybe here, company, maybe sorry. here, but not not everywhere. That's just... They can only get rid of you on the spot no, you, if, you've, you, if you've done you something that goes against notice. their contract. You can have a notice, but they can get rid of you... Um, they can get rid of you and, and like you have to leave and they'll a lot of times they'll escort you out and stuff like it happens here all the time you get escorted that out of the building that happens here but only but, like, if you're that, going to saying, an industry like, that's of the same like the, the if company, you're in a financial industry and then you've got another job with another financial industry they will escort you out yeah yeah um, and I they'll find, still pay you for the two weeks I still find it funny that you're escorting people out and the, per- and the people that escort you out aren't like really like they're not they're security guards but sometimes they're old ladies Oh no, our managers have yeah. to escort people out sometimes. Okay. But they don't do it in yeah, a horrid way. It. It's just like, okay, you've given you've told us you want to leave. You you're going to be working for another insurance company, so you you're going to have to leave. How are you going to leave? I'm always big on this um my exit. And you don't get like it's there and then you get you just go. But what's your exit song? I love these uh, exit songs. You've got I an love exit bringing song. these exit songs. You've got an exit song for everything. <laughs> no, I don't have an exit song, but I'd like I love like I I'd love to think that when I'm leaving a company and I know I'm not coming back and the company hasn't been that great to me and you're walking out and you're like, it's a sense of like relief. It's a sense of like, like a, a weight is lifted off your shoulders. You know, you're just Kissing walking out. Rolling. <laughs> you just got your, your, I wouldn't have my peace sign up. I'd I have would. my middle finger up. Oh, oh no, I'm leaving. You know, keep it classy. Keep it classy. <laughs> See, I'm, this I'm this just like gonna the s- anchor man. <laughs> I'm just going to sit in my chair, look at them, whoever's trying to escort me because nine times out of nine there. they're probably smaller than me just sit there <laughs> we ain't going nowhere <laughs> we ain't going nowhere meanwhile <laughs> they've got their arms under your uh, underarms trying that. to lift you up out your chair <laughs> <laughs> then you take to the floor who was it that said if you lie on the floor if you don't want to get taken somewhere you just lie on the floor what? Because what? if you're lying on the floor, they can't pick you up. It's so difficult to pick up a person that's lying on the floor. Dead weight, just pure dead yeah. weight. So you just lie on the floor if you don't want to get taken somewhere. But yeah, you have to go full full plank. I think um, that's what they do in yeah. prison. If they want to make it difficult for the prison guards yeah. to take them somewhere, they just, lie, they just fall to the floor. How about if you go fully that's uh, where I heard full it. Jerry Maguire? What's like you, 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 like you send this memo out to all the CEO and you f yourself up. Like you just let get really ph- philosophical, and then you have this dramatic speech just before you leave. Do you remember Jerry Maguire? Just before he leaves, and he goes, "I'm taking my goldfish, and I'm gonna take, I'm taking this." And then, and he goes, "Who's with me?" Right? And no, and one, no one puts their hands up <laughs> <laughs> except, except Renee Zellweger. A Zellweger? Is that Zellweger? 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 She, she goes, "I'll go with you." And then he's walking out. He goes, I can't pay you, but keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to pay for your wages. <laughs>